Conventions and unwritten rules are generally followed without question by most people. Expectations, behavior, and even our definitions of success and happiness are influenced by these suggested realities. Ever pondered about Sigma males and how they fit into the societal puzzle? This question has intrigued many, sparking a flurry of conversation and debate. Today, we're delving into the enigma that is the Sigma male. Sigma males are a fascinating breed. They are the ones who break the mold, who defy societal norms and expectations. They are the lone wolves, the mavericks, the men who march to the beat of their own drum. They are often misunderstood, misrepresented, and misinterpreted, turning them into enigmas in our society. These men, are not your typical alpha males who command the room, nor are they the beta males who tend to follow the pack. No, sigma males are a class of their own. They are the introverted leaders, the silent achievers, the men who prefer solitude over social gatherings. They are self-sufficient, independent, and prefer to operate on their own terms. But with such unique characteristics, Come a host of misconceptions. Society often paints Sigma males with a broad brush, stereotyping them as aloof, arrogant, or antisocial. These labels, however, are far from the truth. In fact, they are often a result of misunderstanding and lack of knowledge about Sigma males. Sigma males are not aloof. They are simply selective about the company they keep. They are not arrogant. They are confident and self-assured and they are not antisocial. They simply value quality interactions over quantity. These men are not afraid to go against the grain, to challenge the status quo, and to live life on their own terms. But why are they often seen as enigmas? Well, it's because they don't fit neatly into society's boxes. They defy traditional male archetypes, creating their own path and forging their own identity. And it's this unique trait that often leaves people perplexed, curious, and intrigued. Now that we have set the stage, let's delve deeper into the myths that society often believes about Sigma males. It's time to unravel the mystery, to break down the stereotypes, and to gain a deeper understanding of these intriguing individuals. So, stick around as we venture into the world of Sigma males. One myth at a time. Are Sigma males really lone wolves, or is there more to the story? The term lone wolf is often thrown around when discussing Sigma males, but is it accurate? Let's delve into this fascinating topic. First off, it's essential to understand that the lone wolf label doesn't necessarily mean that Sigma males are antisocial or avoid human interaction. Rather, they have a unique approach to socializing. They prefer meaningful, deep conversations to superficial small talk. This preference can often make them seem aloof or detached, leading to the lone wolf tag. Sigma males are not hermits hiding away from society. They are observers, quietly watching and analyzing. They choose to engage when they find the interaction meaningful and enriching. They don't shun company. They simply avoid unnecessary noise. They value their quiet time, yes, but they also appreciate the company of like-minded individuals. Imagine a party scene. Sigma males are not the life of the party, nor are they lurking in the shadows. They are somewhere in between, engaging in deep conversations, observing the dynamics, or simply enjoying the music. They are present, but not always visible. They are involved but not always vocal. Their selective socializing is often misunderstood as a preference for solitude, but in reality, Sigma males are merely selective. They choose quality over quantity, depth over breadth, and substance over form. They are comfortable in their own company, but that doesn't mean they are averse to others. They just want their interactions to be meaningful and genuine. So, when you meet a Sigma male, who appears to be a lone wolf, remember that it's not about solitude. It's about selective socializing. 
It's about choosing meaningful interactions over pointless chatter. It's about appreciating the quiet, but not shunning the noise. It's about the balance between being alone and being lonely. So, the lone wolf tag might be a misinterpretation of their selective socializing. Is every Sigma male an introvert? This is a question that often surfaces when discussing the enigmatic Sigma personality, but the answer might surprise you. The notion that all Sigma males are introverts is a common misconception. It's easy to see how this misunderstanding arises. Sigma males tend to be self-reliant, self-sufficient, and often prefer their own company to the bustle of social gatherings. These qualities can easily be mistaken for introversion. But let's delve a little deeper. The world of personalities isn't black and white. It's not a simple divide between extroverts and introverts. There's a spectrum, with ambiverts lying somewhere in the middle, embodying traits of both extroverts and introverts. You see, sigma males can be introverted, extroverted, or ambiverted. Yes, you heard it right. Sigma males can also be extroverts. They can enjoy social interactions, be outgoing, and engage in lively conversations. However, they also value their solitude, their me time. They appreciate the quiet moments of introspection, the opportunity to recharge and reflect. This doesn't necessarily make them introverted. It simply means they have mastered the art of balancing their social and personal needs. Moreover, Sigma males, whether introverted or extroverted, share a common trait. They are self-sufficient. They don't rely on others for validation or happiness. They are comfortable in their own skin, content with their own company. This independence can sometimes be mistaken for introversion, but it's merely a sign of their self-sufficiency. What sets Sigma males apart is not their preference for solitude, but their ability to thrive in it. They are the lone wolves who don't need a pack to survive. They are the silent observers, the strategic thinkers, the mysterious enigmas. They are the ones who can stand alone, yet not feel lonely. So, to circle back to our original question, is every Sigma male an introvert? The answer is a resounding no. Not every Sigma male is an introvert. Sigma males can fall anywhere on the personality spectrum. Being a Sigma is not about being an introvert or extrovert, but about being self-sufficient and independent. Their solitude is not a sign of introversion, but a testament to their self-reliance and independence. Is the too serious label justified for Sigma males? Let's delve into this stereotype. We often hear the statement, Sigma males are always so serious, or they lack a sense of humor. But is that really the case? Or is it just a misunderstanding of their unique style of humor? You see, Sigma males do have a sense of humor. It's just not always what you might expect. Sigma males, being the enigmatic individuals they are, often have a dry and witty sense of humor. It's understated, cerebral, and sometimes so subtle that it might fly under the radar if you're not paying close attention. They don't usually engage in slapstick humor or tell loud, boisterous jokes. Instead, they prefer sarcasm, irony, and clever wordplay. Their humor isn't about drawing attention or being the life of the party. It's a reflection of their introspective nature and sharp intellect. Sigma males also have a knack for seeing the humor in situations where others might not. They often find amusement in life's absurdities and ironies and they can turn these observations into witty remarks and insightful comments. They might even use humor as a tool for deflection, subtly steering conversations, or subtly revealing truths about a situation. Another reason why Sigma males might seem too serious is their reserved demeanor. They're not typically expressive or animated when they speak, which can make them come across as stern or serious. But don't mistake their calm exterior for a lack of humor. It's just that their humor is more about quality than quantity. 
They don't feel the need to constantly crack jokes or make people laugh. Instead, they save their wit for the right moments, delivering their humor with precision and timing. So, next time you encounter a Sigma male, don't be too quick to label them as too serious. Pay attention to their words, their timing, and their unique perspective. You might just find their sense of humor to be refreshingly different and insightful. Sigma males do have a sense of humor. It's just not always what you might expect. Do Sigma males lack ambition, or is it a different kind of ambition? This question often comes up when discussing the enigmatic Sigma male. The societal narrative would have us believe that these individuals lack ambition. But is this really the case? The answer isn't as straightforward as we might initially think. You see, Sigma males do possess ambition, but it's of a different breed. It's not the conventional ambition that society is accustomed to, one that's measured by material wealth, status, or power. Instead, their ambition is often more introspective, more personal, and more focused on self-fulfillment and personal growth. They're the explorers of the inner realms, the adventurers of the mind, and the seekers of knowledge. Their ambition isn't tied to societal expectations or norms, but rather to their own personal goals and values. They may not be the loudest in the room or the most visible on the career ladder, but that doesn't mean they're not striving to achieve their own version of success. Sigma males are often perceived as lacking ambition because they don't conform to mainstream ideals of success. They might not be chasing the corner office, the flashy car, or the societal accolade. Instead, they might be pursuing knowledge, personal growth, or creative expression. They might prefer a modest lifestyle with ample time for solitude and introspection over a high-pressure career that leaves little room for personal pursuits. They're not driven by a desire for external validation, but by a need for self-fulfillment. Their ambition is not less than, it's simply different. It's an ambition that's driven by a deep-seated desire for personal growth and self-improvement, rather than a pursuit of external symbols of success. So, do Sigma males lack ambition? Absolutely not. They simply channel their ambition in a different direction, one that aligns more closely with their personal values and aspirations. It's a different kind of ambition, one that's deeply personal, introspective, and not easily understood by those who measure success by conventional standards. Sigma males are ambitious, just not always in the way society typically defines it. Are Sigma males really unemotional, or is it a case of misunderstood emotions? Let's take a moment to delve into this intriguing question. Society often labels Sigma males as emotionless, attributing it to their solitary nature and reserved demeanor. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. Sigma males, like everyone else, possess a rich spectrum of emotions. The difference lies in their unique method of expressing these emotions. Sigma males have a deep internal world, and their emotions are an integral part of it. They experience joy, sadness, anger, and love just as intensely as anyone else. However, they may not wear these emotions on their sleeve, preferring instead to process them privately. This isn't a sign of emotional deficiency. Rather, it's an indication of their preference for introspection and self-reflection. Now, you might be thinking, but I've never seen a Sigma male express strong emotions. That's where the misunderstanding comes in. Sigma males express their emotions differently. They might not shout from the rooftops when they're happy, or sob uncontrollably when they're sad. Instead, they might choose to appreciate the moment quietly when they're joyful, or seek solitude when they're upset. It's not about suppressing emotions. It's about managing them in a way that aligns with their personality. Additionally, Sigma males tend to be selective when it comes to sharing their emotional world. They value deep, meaningful connections and are likely to open up only to those they trust deeply. 
This emotional selectivity often gets mistaken for emotional unavailability. But in reality, it's a form of emotional intelligence, knowing when to express emotions and with whom. So let's bust the myth. Sigma males are not unemotional. They feel deeply, care genuinely, and love passionately. Their emotional world is just as vibrant and dynamic as anyone else's. It's just that their expression of emotions isn't always conventional, and that's okay. After all, it's these differences that make us unique, isn't it? Sigma males are not unemotional. They just express their emotions differently. Is the perceived arrogance of Sigma males a reality or a misunderstanding? A query we often find ourselves pondering. To understand the answer, we must first delve into what arrogance truly means. Arrogance is often defined as an inflated sense of one's abilities or importance, often coupled with a lack of regard for others. However, is this truly the essence of a Sigma male? The Sigma male, as we have come to understand, is a model of self-confidence. They are individuals who understand their worth, not because they compare it to the worth of others, but because they recognize their potential and capabilities. They are not swayed by societal norms or expectations, but rather march to the beat of their own drum. This unwavering self-assurance can often be mistaken for arrogance, but it is important to distinguish between the two. Arrogance stems from a need to feel superior, a need to belittle others to boost one's own ego. But for Sigma males, their confidence is not built on the degradation of others. They are not threatened by the success of their peers, nor do they feel the need to overshadow others to validate their worth. Instead, they find satisfaction in their personal growth and achievements, independent of societal validation. Sigma males are often misunderstood because of their self-reliance and introverted nature. They may appear distant or aloof, not because they feel superior, but because they value their solitude and independence. Their need for personal space and time for reflection is often misconstrued as arrogance, further perpetuating this misconception. In reality, Sigma males are not arrogant. They are simply confident individuals who know their worth and are not afraid to stand their ground. They do not seek validation from society, nor do they need it. Their self-assured nature may come off as intimidating or even arrogant to some, but it is simply a manifestation of their confidence and independence. So, let's set the record straight. Sigma males aren't arrogant, they're just confident in their own skin. Now that we've debunked these myths, what is the truth about Sigma males? Let's weave together the threads we've unraveled throughout this enlightening journey. Sigma males, the enigmatic loners of society, are not bound by the conventional parameters that define others. These individuals are not merely misunderstood introverts, but rather, they embody a distinct blend of introspection and independence that sets them apart. Often perceived as too serious, Sigma males are not devoid of humor or lightheartedness. Instead, they possess a rich, often dry wit that may not always conform to mainstream humor. They appreciate the subtleties of irony and sarcasm, often employing these tools to articulate their unique perspectives. The fallacy that Sigma males lack ambition couldn't be further from the truth. Their ambitions may not align with societal norms, but that doesn't mean they're non-existent. Sigma males are driven by personal goals and intrinsic motivators, marching to the beat of their own drums and finding satisfaction in their own achievements. The myth that Sigma males are unemotional is another misconception we've shattered. They do experience emotions, just like any other human being. However, they have a unique way of processing and expressing these feelings, often internalizing them rather than wearing them on their sleeves. Finally, the misconception of arrogance can be dispelled. Sigma males are not arrogant, but self-assured. Their confidence stems from a deep understanding of themselves and their capabilities. They do not seek validation from others, 
and this can often be misconstrued as arrogance. So, the truth about Sigma males. They are independent, introspective individuals who value their autonomy. They navigate the world in their own unique way, unbound by societal expectations and norms. They are driven by personal ambition, experience emotions deeply, and exude a quiet confidence that can sometimes be misunderstood. Understanding Sigma males requires us to look beyond societal stereotypes and appreciate their unique approach to life. This journey of understanding is not just about debunking myths, but about embracing diversity and appreciating the myriad ways in which individuals experience the world.